Hey guys. So now, uh, so this is my uh, greatest prototype. Um, let's continue on. We're actually really stuck on the enemy AI. So first of all, what we have to do is obviously uh, make a very basic enemy for us. You know, just kind of put it right. So actually, now that might just be like this quick enemy, alright? So what I want this enemy to do is actually uh, drop power. So actually, if, if you see the Gratus, is if it's red enemy and then you kill it, it, it will drop a power for you to collect. So obviously, first of all, uh, let's see. Okay, I got an idea actually. So first of all, let's make uh, that's my bullet. There we go. So let's go to my bullet collide. So which is uh, we actually I actually added some things here. As you can see this is actually four players tier. I'm so sorry I kind of got off point but don't worry I'm just making it fast. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make it fast, don't worry. I should cut it out. Hey, never mind. Option. And then this will be. And then it's, that's pretty much it. Actually. So I think that's it. Okay, let's go to my bullet light. Let's not stall too much time. So basically, let me make a new uh, setup. EF. Set of condition that if other dot game object dot tag is equals to the enemy then same thing obviously we destroy game object first then destroy uh Destroy the other dot game object so that if the enemy also be destroyed, right? And then what we want to do is we want to drop the power. So obviously I need to call public. Oh, sorry, I can't public. Public uh, game object. Then this will be power. Is quite okay, then obviously make a new vision body, and then this will be uh, power up drop. So, what here is going to do is basically instantiate the jack drop. So, as you can see from here, I'm just going to copy paste so we can go faster because I kind of, part of, kind of forget it. Forget the end. So this one is copy, paste, paste, and this. Oh. This one. And then a uh, bullet. This will be actually be power. So that's it, I think. So let's go to my uh, bullet code light. Uh, actually, I need to. Put it somewhere here actually, so if let's say bullet collide, then this will have a path prefab that has this power, the drop. Okay, so then obviously tag this as enemy, which I need to add a tag, and call this enemy. Alright, then drag and come back, call this enemy, and save this. Basically, this what this does. Double check. Let's see what it works. So my enemy is dead. So when I shoot it, it's still spawn. The variable power is not yet signed. There. Hmm. Do it. Oh, okay. Because it's destroyed, it won't spawn. Could make sense. 
Okay, uh, so what this actually does is if this is destroyed, why not actually put it here first? Not sure it works, I think it works. So why this now that was an error? Because apparently my prefetch, remember, they all have bullet collect script. So what I did was I go to every single one and I did, uh, added power up for each of them. And then deleted off the bullet collect here. So that when I fire, it will instant hit the thing. So let's see if I put it here. Oh, wait, yeah, you will spawn exactly where it is. Tired. So yep this is what I have okay so right now what we're gonna do is we are actually let's see so this is done right so let's try to make it uh, pattern AI and stuff like that it's pretty cool so let's try make it out or I'll actually do it in the next video so yeah I'll see you guys